Today, the state's coronavirus dashboard recorded a record 2,776 new cases in a single day. It marks the 14th day in a row of more than 1,000 new COVID-19 cases. As Jake Stofan tells us, a group of physicians is calling on the governor to mandate the use of face masks in order to help stop the spread. Call it COVID burnout. Physicians here in the state's capital say after three solid months of pandemic panic, Floridians are beginning to drop their guard and their masks. You may not like wearing a mask, but it beats wearing a ventilator. The 2,776 cases reported Tuesday are a record. More than 10,000 have been reported in the last week. If we do not do better in responding to this threat, Another 100,000 people or more may die of the same disease. The doctors have asked the governor to make face masks mandatory in public places by issuing an executive order. He has a moral and leadership obligation to reduce, reduce sickness and deaths among Floridians and to set an example for the nation. The physicians say simply by wearing a face mask, you're six times less likely to spread or contract the virus. People should have the courtesy and the respect for others to wear a mask. Unfortunately, voluntary um, requests to wear a mask seem to be falling on deaf ears. With the governor having largely taken a libertarian approach to the pandemic response, putting the onus on the individual to either heed or ignore guidance, it's unlikely he will take any enforceable action on face masks. Reporting from the state capitol, Jake Stofan, Channel 4, the local station. 14 states and the District of Columbia have mandatory face mask requirements in public places.